Hey, so if you work in ocean conservation, you may have seen this headline last week. A new report came out that showed that we surpassed a climate tipping point that is going to really heavily impact coral reefs. Now we've been in a mass bleaching event since 2023, and I think those of us that work closely with coral have seen this, but I wanted to share with you the solutions we have to help ensure that we can sustain coral reefs beyond this century and how you can be part of them. We really need to broaden participation. It can't be only marine scientists working on coral reef restoration and talking about it. We need to be creating films. We need to be scaling coral education. We need to be planting at hotels and bringing tourists into the solution. Because that's the only way that we're going to be changing hearts and minds. And unless we're bringing lawmakers out to plant corals with their kids and they're going to have a memorable experience so that when a piece of legislation passes their desks that helps coral reefs, they remember that experience, we're not standing a chance. Which brings me to this point. We need to be talking about the root causes to coral reef health decline. That could be localized issues like point source pollution and water quality and fishing pressure, but globally it's emission use, it's rising temperatures. And unless we're addressing these root causes with legislation and organizing as advocates, uh, my page specifically will always connect you as an ocean conservationist to broader advocacy campaigns because we need more people doing it. And if you like that and want to help coral reefs, you should stick around.